Hello, hopefully you've all had a letter reminding you of your email, school email, uh, and also your password. And there was an awful lot of information in the letter. It's also on the website, but I'm also aware there's also a lot of information just generally at the moment. And you know me, I'm always talking about cognitive load and overwhelming a cognitive load and the importance of chunking down information. And sometimes we need that information delivered in a particular way in order for our working memory to digest it and so then it's in our long-term memories. So this video hopefully will make it a little bit clearer. On your Show My Homework login page, if you sign in here with the Office 365 login, so ignore this, but if you go here, because you have a school email address, you will then have access to Office 365 and all that comes with it. So that is the way to log in. And that is using your school email address, not your personal one. It has to be your school email address and the password. They're the same things because that's how you're signing in. Now, in terms of your school email address, you should be using it as a matter of course. It's an important way to communicate. It's an appropriate address. Um, it's a formal and safe address. So you would sign in and then it will ask you for more information to keep your account safe. Now, what that does here when you get to this screen, it's going to ask you to set up some security questions. And shall I tell you why that's so important? It's so important because if you forget it in the future, you'll be able to self-serve. That's why it's called self-service. You'll be able to reset it yourself. So, it, And so it's an automated service. That's really important that you do that. And so hopefully that's made things a little bit clearer in terms of Satchel 1. So show my homework, Satchel 1 is the same thing. Um, and also your school email. But you know, you know, there's lots of ways you can contact us. You can do it through your parents. You can you can email us from your school address. You've got the your teachers emails on lots of your show my homework um, set work. Uh, you've got faculty emails. Um, you've got people phoning home, your key workers phoning home. Um, so you can get in contact with us anytime. OK, I hope that helps. I hope that's helped your cognitive load, your working memory, your long term memory. And um, I hope you found that helpful.